Foster Young Game Designers Inspired series. Episode 6, Industry Insights. In our final episode of the series, we discover what it's really like to work in the games industry, how our contributors landed their dream jobs, plus more top tips to help you create your first game. There are so many different elements to my job that I really love and enjoy, and depending on the task at hand will depend on what my favourite thing is at the time. For me, it is when other people have played something I've made, even if it's any of the other designers or my friends or family, and say, oh, I really like that. And I go, God, oh, I made that bit. And you become proud of the bits you made and you're really pleased. So for me, it's the direct feedback from people I know is the most rewarding thing. Working in a games studio really is one of the biggest blessings in life. It is a mad zoo of amazingly talented, intelligent, creative, wonderful, mad people. And we all coexist here as one big happy family. That sometimes comes with its own challenges. There's a lot of emotions in video games because everyone is creating something so personal and everyone is putting part of themselves into that process. But really everyone just wants to come together to make something amazing and that's a really special feeling. Some of the best things about actually hitting my career goal in the games industry is being able to work with some incredibly creative people that I get to call my friends and hang out with. And we get to create really fantastic content together and that process alone is just so rewarding and everything I wanted it to be. Before uh, working in the games industry, I did a degree in computer science. I felt like it was important to have a technical grounding to understand how, how computers work and therefore how games work. And obviously it's also important to play a lot of games, but to think critically about them. Any holiday or free time I had, I'd, I'd contact them and say, you know, have you got any work experience? And I did a lot of that. And then once I'd finished uni, I managed to get a job on a production for eight months, where I was the runner. And then from there, I managed to get a job uh, here at Shepparton Studios, where I came on as a trainee, and then I just stayed here and, and worked my way up. I began my career in video game marketing and advertising, working on the account for Xbox. I didn't actually have any experience in marketing or video games. I was a gamer growing up, but didn't really know that video game marketing was a career. I think a lot of people think that careers in video games are just for programmers or artists. They don't really consider that there's a huge um, variety of functions that, that are needed for video games. If you're at school or a student and you want to get into games development, the first thing you should do, and you should really start now, is just make a game. Start making things, start learning the technology. You have everything at your disposal right now. It's an unbelievable amount of resources that you have available, tools that you have available. Just start making games, but start very, very simply. Then that gives you the experience of how games are made, and the sort of problems they will come across. So that's the key, it was having something physical to show. The development community is really, really friendly. So you'll definitely be able to find all the resources you need. If you're not particularly good at art, but you're great at coding, you can just get some art assets. If you need particular tools or game mechanics, you could check out the asset store for things that have already been made that you can put into your game. Tips that I would give to anybody trying to get into this industry would be manners cost nothing. I really think coming in with a smile and a keen interest into what is happening in front of you, I really think that that is one of the most important things. If you're showing an interest and you're keen and willing to learn and willing to put your own personal time into it, other people will be willing to give their time to you as well to help you learn and help you progress. There's hundreds of roles and usually larger companies have many, many different people making the team work and getting a product out there. It's not just programmers, artists and animators. There's a whole array of careers that you can take. And that's the last of our episode. But don't worry, there's loads more to discover on our website. So for more inspiration or to enter the BAFTA Young Game Designers competition, visit ygd.bafta.org. <laughs>